So congratulations Sid for thank your you, graduation. You. So finally after one and a half years Sid has graduated from Politecnico di Milano. So Sid now let's have one small introduction to my viewers because many of my viewers they know you but even though for the new viewers <laughs> just have a small introduction. Okay so my name is Sid Tejani and I did uh, industrial design and engineering and innovation from the Polymy which is specializing course so it's a 14 month course. It's so master? It's, yeah, it's a master, but uh, it's How a it specializing is, master. What is the difference? Because okay, for me it's two years, and for you fourteen months. So, so here in Italy, they have a two type of master: say mm. uh, uh, first level and second level, which okay. is uh, in Italian is uno level or due level. Okay. Uh, basically, they do like uh, you know after if you have uh, some work experience, then you do specializing master. Okay. But after a bachelor, you do the. Uh, regular master regular which master. you do. So this master for example, specialized master, it will not consider as a regular master. For example, when you do master from India that is for two years. Yeah, but uh, we can convert it. We so can convert. I have an option to convert in the, into the regular master. Okay, so it's not a problem. It's not a problem at all. Okay. It's just a difference between like, uh, it's more towards uh, actual scenarios. Mm -hmm. Like uh, uh, we have to do uh, tie-ups with a different company which is already uh, doing their great and okay. Uh, okay. we um, collab with them and we design a product because my field is design. But okay. if you are doing in uh, different, uh, so it's likewise. Okay. But in your master, you study, you theory, yeah. you present a thesis. Yes, we yes. don't have a thesis. We just oh. have to present in front of the jury and okay. they will uh, decide the marks. Okay. Like we don't have a semester. Yeah, okay. You just, uh, you know, present oh. like every month we have a presentation. Okay. They have a fixed date. Oh, okay. You present in front of the jury. Jury members are maybe changed, maybe same. Okay. And they give you the marks throughout the year. And okay. at the last you present again whole like um, in 14 months which I did mm -hmm. I compile all in the one presentation present them mm -hmm. and they will give you marks and okay. at the end they average it and give you Wait, the number. So, so say the, this crown is looking so beautiful so can you explain yeah. like what is the specialty of this crown in Italian culture and others? Okay, so here in Italy they don't throw the cap or they don't wear that uh, cloth okay. and they use this crown. Basically the tradition is follow like uh, uh, here a very famous drink which is Prosecco. Mm -hmm. So a family and a friends of a graduating person who came with this uh, or come with this uh, crown with the uh, uh, famous Prosecco which is uh, iconic Prosecco. Which, what uh, is Prosecco? Of, Prosecco is a kind of a sparkling wine, which is wine. Uh, ma okay. made in, in Italy. So they so have so a. You can say in an easy way to understand because people like me prefer saying yeah. Prosecco something. It wine, is. It's yeah. like a, you know more towards a champagne. You oh. know champagne, which no. uh, generally they use for celebrating and they oh. fire that. Uh, okay, okay, okay. And yeah, it, like Jay it's some, once he was doing. Yeah. Uh, Quite like that. So uh, after the graduation, they have a party, and okay. in the party they used to eat uh, their uh, small that pizza, margarita pizza, which is quite famous here. And uh, this crown, uh, you wear uh, all whole day. Whole day. Okay. And you during go the yeah during the graduation, you went to different location. You went to party with this crown, mm -hmm. and this crown is made up with uh, some olives. You can customize it, but. Uh, okay. In the very basic one, mm -hmm. uh, uh, one ribbon, one, ribbon. one olive, and uh, I know laurel leaf. Yeah, uh, you okay. are uh, you know better than okay. me in that. Okay, so in general, see the this the the university will provide, or you have to buy your own. No, uh, your friends and family buy for you. If ah, you okay. don't have a friends and family here, so obviously you buy okay. by yourself. So how much it will cost in general? Uh, the basic uh, basic crown cost around thirty euro. And uh, you have to, you know, order it uh, one day before because okay. they took uh, your uh, head size and everything. Oh, okay, so this is for 30 euro. Yeah. Okay, so the, now let's sit and let's um, get your experience. Yeah, sure, sure. Like what are the things and all the stuff. Sure, sure. So let's go. Let's go. Yep. See, uh, it has been like one and a half year for you in Milan. Okay, so what is your feeling after graduating? Because it's one of the most... Um, favorable moment for everyone especially those who are graduating from yeah. foreign universities so what is your moment so it's a very proud moment because Politecnico itself is ranked all over the world is fifth yeah. so you know it's very good to have a graduation 
uh, master degrees in uh, this kind of college which is uh, okay. quite famous all around the world and uh, I, this is the first college in Italy mm -hmm. so ranked first in uh, in Italy so it's quite proud moment right now okay. and yeah looking for so, the bright future okay all the best thank uh, you see, okay see the because you graduated from polymy especially in the design so how is design in polymy because they talk a lot about the design architecture especially in the polymy so how you feel how is the real experience of design like uh, my first experience if i say okay uh, at the first glance my experience is quite good mm -hmm. because they you know they directly connect with your company you directly work with the company person uh, okay. uh, like uh, there are uh, in my case uh, we have a uh, one company the guy came from the company he is also a uh, designer in that okay. company mm -hmm. then after you you did the some iteration you make a product then you mm -hmm. show to the other company person who is from marketing department one of his from engineering okay. department so it's quite of a, you know a very strong experience of a actual market okay okay so that's a benefit of a polymy that's what i feel okay, that's good so apart from uh, this education and all the things do you have like workshop internship or something like that which uh, provided by the polymy yeah they provide internship which is uh, like uh, in uh, my case it's a mandatory so polymy okay. provide but polymy has a uh, different uh, um, departments like a mm -hmm. poly hub poly factory so if you have a business idea you go them you ask okay. them they will okay. help you okay. and uh, they knows they like how you can uh, you know you understand italian rules to start mm -hmm. make your own startup when okay. you go to poly factory they help you to make a prototype and mm -hmm. if your uh, prototype is good enough they will provide a uh, finance also to your mm -hmm. product so it's uh, by business perspective or uh, okay, okay. even a design perspective is quite good okay. apart from the academic okay like uh, living in milan and like student life in university and uh, other things you have faced after coming to italy uh after coming italy uh, the main problem i felt is just only the language barrier mm -hmm. like if you know the italian language very mm -hmm. uh, so it's uh, you know everything is quite easy compared to the uh, if you don't know the italian language so <laughs> i suggest uh, if you come to italy student experience is very good like you have a uh, a good food varieties of food and uh, you know for vegetarians also like me and suman bhai yeah. <laughs> we have, have like we have a uh, good options for a uh, food uh, in yeah. italian cuisine also so you go and best part is coffee here okay. in italy coffee, you pizza, coffee pastas. pizza pasta it's a lot yeah. so in general student experience is good mm -hmm. but i suggest if you come to italy you must come with the italian language okay. and if you can speak italians are very open to you you can ask them they answer yeah. you and they talk a lot but in italian <laughs> Yeah, so just in basic Italian so that you can mingle with the local yeah. people and that will help for you to establish you know, more quick way in Italy. Yeah. They give like 7,000 euro oh. for one year. Okay, so it's a, for one semester it's that? Not one semester, for one year they will give 7,000 euro scholarship and especially uh, the, in the design field they, they do not have this scholarship. Like uh, in a specializing master. In a special, sorry, in a specializing master, they we do don't not have, have this opportunity to get the scholarship. So Sid has paid all his fees. He paid his accommodation. He paid for his food. So he invested a lot. Yeah. So in this one and a half year, if you talk about the total expenditure, including the fees, accommodation, food, how much you had invested, Sid? Uh, in a, in a INR or in a euro? INR, INR. Uh, approximate 28,000, 28 lakhs, sorry, not 1,000. 28, 28 lakhs. lakhs, including my fees. Including my fees. See, if you are coming as a private student, and uh, especially this to a university like Polymy, then you can expect like 20 to 25 lakhs of Indian rupees as per of 2023. Yeah. Okay. So maybe in future you can increase it, the <laughs> yeah. on the currencies. So in this 25 lakhs, what was your uh, actual university fees? Uh, my actual university fees because I got the discount, so a liberal discount, okay. and uh, you know after a uh, few few uh, like uh, after a few months uh, mm -hmm. of staying here and uh, you know understanding Italian language, I got to know we also get the uh, scholarship. Oh, really? So you get the DSU, right? Okay. So there is a one a separate uh, small scholarship also which mm -hmm. called mini DSU. Mini DSU. Yeah. 
So you have uh, some easy value around one, yes. and then you get right. Yes, yes. So if you are uh, having a little bit hard, like a big easy value, mm -hmm. then you can get a mini DSU. Oh. So this guy, okay. this thing you have to do before you come to Italy. But I don't know that, and okay, I came okay, okay. Italy, and then I understand. Then I, uh, you know, I met a few uh, Italians, and mm -hmm. they, to they told me. Okay. So for example. Um, uh, how much you will get in mini, uh, mini Okay, DSU? so they have the point system. Okay. So if you have IELTS, if you have a good percentage in in, mm -hmm. uh, in degree, so highest amount of uh, scholarship you get is a fifty percent. Fifty percent. So my fees is twelve thousand five hundred. Twelve thousand five hundred euros. euros. Okay. Right. So if I get the mini DSU, I have a IELTS uh, proficiency and I have a certificates of all the things. So I get at least fifty percent of the whole amount. So okay, around six thousand euro. Okay. It's uh, depend on your easy value. Okay. For example, as you know that especially scholarship in Italy, it depends on your easy value. Easy value is nothing but it's a, it's your economic uh, yeah. conditions. For example, there will be point system. So if you have higher economic uh, system, I can say easy yeah. value. For example, if your total assessed or total your uh, all the like total income, property, property in and family income is crossing more than twenty five to thirty lakhs of Indian rupees. Then you can apply for this mini DSU, so where you will, you will have the opportunity to get discount percentage. For example, as Sid told yeah. us, like uh, his uh, university fees was like twelve thousand five hundred euros. So if you applied for that, then maximum you can get fifty percent off. So like twelve thousand five, you will get six thousand something. So you can uh, apply for this mini DSU. But the thing is that we have to apply before coming to Italy. So after coming here, it's not possible. Okay. Yeah. As a design student, so what do you recommend for the future coming student if someone wants to pursue their career as a design, especially in Italy or Palmi? So give some your uh, tips or advice to the. It's a very good experience. You come to Italy, study design, eat a lot, and uh, I suggest one thing: research before coming. Okay. So which course suits you more? Mm -hmm. Which is quite a good experience, which increase your experience like a, a, in a very good journey. Yes, yes. So that is at the end, that is what I want to say. Okay. So thank you so much. Thank Sid. you. And uh, once again, congratulations thank for you, your thank graduation you. <laughs> and uh, all the best Sid, for you. your uh, upcoming future. Thank you. Thank you. Hope it should be colorful and uh, <laughs> flavorful. Fingers crossed. <laughs> As the food. Okay, Sid. Thank you. Ciao, ciao.